Whenever people start noticing that a major shortage is unfolding, or maybe ahead, they rush to the stores to hoard their favorite items before they completely disappear. And in 2023, things will be no different. 2022 was a very complicated year for food production, and now we're seeing how this is affecting the availability of certain products at our local supermarkets. But what we've seen so far is just the beginning. Seasonal demand is about to squeeze grocery supplies even further during the summer months, and we should start preparing for the chaos at stores in the best way we can. For that reason, today, we've listed several foods that will likely be in short supply in the coming weeks and months so you can stock up before shelves are wiped clean. But before moving on, we kindly ask you to support our work with a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Without further ado, here are 15 grocery shortages that will trigger panic at stores in the months ahead. 1. Corn If you're long waiting to eat some corn with your barbecue this summer, you should probably go to the stores and buy some while it's still available because supplies are getting tight. Everything started when the world lost one of the leading providers of corn, Ukraine, which hasn't been exporting grain since the conflict with Russia broke out in February 2022. On top of that, other major corn producers like Mexico and Brazil have been reporting lower corn yields, and the countries are deciding to keep most of their supplies on land instead of sending them to our markets. American corn producers have also dealt with their fair share of challenges in recent years, especially as extreme weather has devastated millions of acres of crops, and many farmers have faced issues getting enough fertilizer to grow the grain. These factors are likely to contribute to major shortages at stores, not only of corn itself, but a series of corn-based products like oils, syrups, and snacks. Certainly, prices won't be the same as they were last summer, so if that's a staple in your household, don't forget to stock up your pantry before shelves get bearer. 2. Hamburger Buns Another victim of the global shortage of wheat and flour are the pillowy and softly crumbly buns we use to create our favorite burgers. But flour isn't the only ingredient that's missing in this recipe. Nearly all other components, including eggs, milk, butter, and sugar, are also in short supply this year. Needless to say, that is going to have a major impact on prices, and this item is going to fly off the shelves this summer. 3. Bacon You may have to pay a lot plus a little bit extra to grill your bacon this summer. Short supplies have been keeping bacon prices nearly 22% more expensive than a year ago. But seasonal demand is not only going to aggravate the shortage, but send bacon prices to painful highs that may force some Americans to look for cheaper alternatives. On top of that, with anti-confinement laws being passed in California, it may take years before the market normalizes and bacon prices go back to reasonable levels again. 4. Pumpkin Pie Who doesn't love a sweet and soft pumpkin pie? Unfortunately, this year, we may not find these beloved items at our local grocery store. The reason is a ravaging fungus that's been plaguing pumpkin crops for the past couple of years. Last year, drought was especially hard on pumpkins, and now we're about to see the consequences of that at the supermarkets. This year is the hardest I've seen for Californian-grown pumpkins, said Lyra Marble, a pumpkin patch owner in 2022. Some shoppers are already noticing shortages at Costco, Kroger, and Albertsons, but they're likely to become even more widespread during Halloween and the holiday season. 5. Beer This is the season for some ice-cold beer while we gather with our friends and family and watch our favorite sports games. But for a third consecutive year, a global shortage of carbon dioxide 
is reducing the supply of this beloved beverage at grocery stores. The bubbling agent is also harder to obtain than it was a few years ago. According to Axios, carbon dioxide is a solid form of dry ice which was heavily utilized for the shipping of COVID-19 vaccines. Already stymied, the carbon dioxide supply chain suffered more damage when a major production facility in Mississippi became contaminated by a nearby volcano in September of 2022. 6. Diet Coke Consumers are noticing that Diet Coke has been harder to find this year, just as for beer, the production of the soda has been rocked by a double whammy of shortages in aluminum, used to make the cans of course, and carbon dioxide. Last year, Coca-Cola CEO James Quincy said the industry had experienced an earthquake, and it seems unlikely shortages will soon ease. The drink has a very low calorie count, and it is very popular in the United States and in the world. Diet Coke uses ingredients such as aspartame and acesulfam potassium instead of sugar. This gives it the sweet taste without adding extra calories. But these artificial sweeteners are also facing supply shortfalls. That's why we can still see the traditional version of Coke on store shelves, while the sugar-free beverage continues to disappear. 7. Sausage don't wait too long before you start stocking up on sausages to grill this summer. As a result of slower meat production and rising processing costs, the food, which already rose in price by 14% over the last year, is set to experience massive price increases as more and more Americans prepare for barbecue season. You may also have to act before inventories are wiped out, just as happened in many regions last year. Sausages are a tradition for millions of families during the 4th of July celebrations, but if you plan to buy them one week ahead of the event, you may be left empty-handed. 8. Pet food Now, that's a shortage that's been recurrent since the pandemic, and food retailers say it may get worse in the coming months. Before, the main contributor to the pet food shortage was the global shortage of aluminum cans, but this year it may have more to do with the meat industry. Something that many people don't know is that meat processors send some of the least desirable cuts and animal parts to pet food manufacturers, which add other series of ingredients and vitamins and create their products. But with less meat coming into the system, processors are sending fewer supplies to pet food companies, many of which did not have a second plan, nor have a chance to secure contracts with international supplies to close that gap. Again, pet owners may soon realize that shelves are staying empty for longer than normal again, and when they do, it's only a matter of time before they start hoarding the favorite food of their furry friends. 9. Pasta Sauce California is the biggest tomato producer in the United States, providing 75% of the supply we buy at our local supermarkets. Now, Last year, 95% of the state experienced serious drought conditions, and the lack of rain was particularly terrible for tomato farmers. Now that there isn't enough for the fruit to produce other tomato-based products, shortages of pasta sauce, ketchup, tomato puree, and tomato juice are expected to occur over the next few months, and considering that these items are staples for many American families, it's very likely that they will run out at stores quite rapidly. 10. Olive Oil Olive oil is one of the most delicious and versatile cooking oils out there. Lots of people include it in their everyday meals, but according to The Conversation, Rising temperatures are decreasing olive yields around the world, and it can take many years for olive farmers to meet the demand for the globally popular oil that's only produced in a handful of regions. That's why it became evident as early as the summer of 2022 that an olive oil shortage was on the cards for 2023. Atlas Obscura reported that the issue was first spotted in 2010 
when a tree blighting bacteria of Latin American origin called Xylella fastidiosa surfaced and made its way to the Puglia region of Italy, where 12% of the world's olive oil supply is produced. By 2021, Xylella had infected a solid third of the area's 60 million olive trees, making the fruit unusable before completely killing the tree itself. The bacteria are responsible for a 50 to 70% olive oil production reduction since it took hold, and it's a problem that in all likelihood will last beyond 2023. 11. Strawberries According to the Produce Blue Book, the strawberry industry has been forced into a period of historically low volume compared to the demand for much of spring 2023. That trend is likely to persist throughout the summer as well. Strawberry crops have been hit by an unprecedented amount of storms and rainfall this year, which has flooded farms. Blue Book estimates that just the regions of Oxnard and Santa Maria alone have received 19.5 to 22.75 inches of rain since the beginning of 2023. That is more than the last three years combined. These issues in California happened at a time when areas of Florida and Mexico were wrapping up their own strawberry seasons, further aggravating the shortage. And on top of all that, a popular variety of Kirkland's signature frozen organic strawberries sold at Costco were recalled back in February due to a hepatitis A outbreak. Supplies are expected to remain low for the foreseeable future causing shoppers to pay up to 30% more for a strawberry shortcake or berry pie, while others will have to find other sweet alternatives altogether. 12. Lettuce The ongoing lettuce shortage that's keeping the produce aisle bare, pushing the price of the greeny leaf to an impressive $11 in January, is expected to last for at least another 12 months, and that's according to experts at Business Insider. The problem was caused by an unforgiving disease, Impatiens necrotic spot virus, or INSV, and that's carried by insects and often results in the death of the affected plant. The disease spread quickly across California's Salinas Valley, that's a major producer with nearly 50% of the country's lettuce production, and destroyed over 80% of the area's crops for 2022. Today, the price of lettuce is still 20% higher than a year ago, and consumers are struggling to find the food at both farmers markets and grocery stores. 13. Heavy Cream Many restaurant owners in the United States of America are complaining about the shortage of heavy cream. Finding heavy cream at supermarkets has become challenging, and the prices have shot up in the last couple of months. Lower milk production is making it costlier to produce heavy cream, and consumers are already bearing the brunt. In 2021, a pack of heavy cream used to cost around $6. Today, it costs up to $12. This means that heavy cream's cost has doubled in the past couple of years due to its shortage and low availability. 14. Lactose-Free Milk People with dietary restrictions are also going to scramble to find the items they need this summer. At several stores, lactose-free milk supplies are already sold out. Major brands like Dairy Gold and Lactaid have disappeared from the shelves in recent months, and there's no certainty of when these products will be restocked. So if you're lactose intolerant and you still can find it at your local store, well, good for you. Don't miss the chance to get it because it may take a long while before you put your hands on it again. Just like regular milk, lactose-free milk is falling under a dairy shortage umbrella because it still comes from cows. It just has a special enzyme in it that breaks down the parts of the milk that's hard for someone who has lactose sensitivities to digest. 15 egg noodles. The nationwide egg shortage has eased by now, mainly because food manufacturers focused on guaranteeing a steady supply of eggs to customers 
and reduced the production of other items that were made with eggs, which is the case of egg noodles. Customers at Walmart, Albertsons, and Aldi have been reporting lower supplies since February, as reported by Eat This, Not That. The imbalance between supply and demand is also likely to contribute to higher prices over the next few weeks and months. You know, getting ready in advance is key here. Now is the time to check out your pantry and list what's missing so that next time you go grocery shopping, you know exactly what to get and which shortages to expect. Many more products can vanish from our local supermarkets before year's end, and you can keep tuned with our channel to know what shortages are coming next and how to prepare for the serious challenges that are ahead of us. We hope you've enjoyed this video, and before leaving, don't forget to turn on the bell to be always notified when the next video comes up.